Hi everyone. Uh, today we are going to see S2 of between two store location within the same plant. So before creating the PO, we'll see the configuration first. So I already created the custom master. Let me show you. This is the my customer master. Okay, I have already created. Okay, now see the other configurations. SPRO, or else go to the OLME. What is the order? Expand it. Define shipping data for the plants. My uh, sending a DC plant is the same only. So your 7010 my plant where I have assigned my customer master. Look at here. And the distribution channel, sales organization, and division. Okay. And then uh, assign document type. Click on your make an entry 7010. My sending plant and receiving plant also 7010 only. Document type is UB. And save this. And then a uh, set of stock transfer between store location. Expand it. Activate first. Look at this already activated. Issuing store location active. Then after configure delivery type and availability check procedure by store location. Click on here. Enter F and make a new entry. My document type is the UP. My supplying plant is 7010. My issuing store location is 1000. And uh, delivery type RL, sorry, NL. Checking role is RP. Save this. And come back. Okay, define uh, shipping data for the stock transfer between store location. Click on here. And find out your plant. Sorry. Okay, look at your sales organization, distribution channel, and the shipping point and division. Okay, select this. I already assigned you. Select this and click on store locations. These are the my three store locations. Okay, and then okay, I already created the material, so I don't want to create again. So I'll show you that table level. Yes, look at this. Okay, now I'm going to create the PO. Document type is UP. My supplying plant is 7010. Enter the purchase organization, purchasing group. Enter your material. I'm going to transfer uh, 15 cases. My receiving plant also same, 7010. And receiving store location is 3000, press enter. And then enter your receiving plant, sorry, receiving store location, that is my 1000. Store location is my 1000. Is okay, now click on shipping tab. Okay. Okay, then save this. Okay, now we have to create the outbound delivery. VL10B to create outbound delivery. Enter the purchase order document here. Execute it. Click on background, select and click on background. 
okay now we can see in purchase order history outbound delivery which has been created okay dear. so now i'm going to create the so i'll go to uh, i'm going to do the pj for this outbound delivery vl 02l press enter click on picking and enter the quantity okay then click on pj okay now go to display the document press enter you can see the movement type 641 and you can see the document flow look at you okay and you can see the document details okay let me see the mmb enter the material okay let's we enter the mb 5t Okay, dear. Yeah. Stock in standard actually. So we have to do Migo to receive this 15 cages into our uh, other store location, 2000, uh, sorry, 3000 store location. Is that outbound delivery? I think 90. Look at your store location, 3000. Okay. We are receiving this. Uh, that stock into 3000 store location, okay, and click on first. Now check the PO history. Look at here, okay. Uh, uh no, uh, 3000 store location received the 15 uh, cases of quantity. Sorry, 15 cases of uh, yeah, quantity. Okay, thank you. Thanks for watching this video.